Hey, what's going on everyone? On here and today I'll be talking about what is a RAM disk and how can you use it to speed up your computer. A RAM disk is basically your RAM made as a virtual disk. Your RAM is the fastest physical item in your computer and no SSD can touch its speed, as of now. I'm going to be showing you benchmarks later. As many of you know, your RAM gets cleaned up every time you restart your computer. Does a RAM disk do the same? Well, if we, say the RAM, if we say that the RAM disk is made out of your RAM, then yes. But wait, many RAM disk software allow you to save the contents of your RAM into an ISO file and then load it as startup, eliminating this barrier. All right, so um, let's get started. So basically, this is how the user interface looks like for data RAM, RAM disk, which is what I'm going to be using for this video. Now, microphones have been broken, so sorry if you can hear my clicks. Now, let's move on. Um, for basically getting to this user interface, you just need to click view and take advanced. I'm not going to be going with a basic user interface. It's pretty basic, you can figure it out yourself, but I want the advanced options. Alright, so let's get started. So, under basic settings, we can see how much megabytes we can have for our disk size. Um, so basically the maximum is about 4 gigabytes, but for me it just says 2 gigabytes, 2.5. Um, basically, alright, so to check how much RAM you have, even though you already know that, uh, you can go into installed memory. Once you right click computer and select properties, uh, you can see your installed memory. It says I have 3.47 gigabytes usable, but I really have 4 gigs. Um, so yeah, I made about a gigabyte of RAM disks space, and these 900 megabytes of RAM are getting, like, the, it's out of my physical memory. Uh, and you have to be really careful in how you use that. Um, and also in Windows 7, there's a memory, memory leak with SV host. So if you see an SV host having 600 megabytes and all that stuff, just end that. Um, but anyway, um, I have to be aware of the memory leak too. You can see my RAM goes up and down while I'm recording. That's uh, only when I'm recording. All right, so uh, under these options for format, um, if you're gonna make more than four gigabytes, uh, or you want to have the fastest type of thing, uh, even though all of these are pretty much fine, you can use FAT32 or click unformat it. And when you go down here and, and type create and format, you can see it says create and format these partitions. Just click that, and then you can find the um, uh, the unformatted partition you made, and then format this on TFS. You can set your disk label um, however you want to, and it's basically Windows Plus. All right, so the um, what we need to do though is under load save, we need to make sure that that one we have a load disk image to start up and two save disk image as shut down. What we basically do is uh, it will save uh, what we have from our memory or what we put into our RAM disk and then once we start our computer it will basically just um, load it up so we don't lose anything. Uh, and then walk in options we don't really want to mess with anything. Uh, and yeah, this is how it looks like. Just click start RAM disk, will pop you up asking if you want to have um, a what's, what's it called? A driver installation. Just click install. And yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be showing you benchmarks now uh, using disk uh, mark. Here we go. These are the results. Over here is my RAM, and over here is my hard drive. Bear in mind, no recording were done, was done into my hard drive. Um, you can see my RAM is just here. I'm recording video, the audio into the RAM, and the rest into my hard drive. Like, nothing into my hard drive, I'm just recording my screen. And I had to change this from a thousand megabytes to 500 megabytes, but it doesn't make a long difference. You can see E, you can see C. And look at it, look at the speed, 2,000 megabytes per second reading and 2,000 megabytes per second writing. Now, my RAM isn't the best, and bear in mind this is a laptop, but look at the speed increase I can get, and you can get, 
from this, the hard drive, to this, the, uh, the RAM disk. Look at the speed increase you can actually get uh, by using this on your computer. Uh, you can see it's like hugely faster. Uh, I'm just going to minimize this. Um, oh, and RAM disk obviously finished first uh, the tests and I had to wait for the hard drive. Now, how would you make your PC faster using, see, very first, using your hard, like your RAM disk? So basically, right click on your computer and select properties, and we're gonna move the temporary files, and also we're gonna move the, um, uh, what is it, the page file from here to here. So click advanced system settings, is worse on Windows 8 too. Uh, Windows 10 um, under performance or environment variables, which it's right down here. You can see um, that the temporary files are located all into AppData local temping. So to move that, all you need to do is go ahead into your RAM and create a new folder, and then name it temp, and then create a new folder named TMP. And then uh, after you've done that, uh, actually TMP, here we go. Uh, after you've done that, uh, under TMP, just copy it. Just you can double click into it and then select edit. There we go. And then under temp, uh, do the same. Oops, do the same thing. And then Control V. Now you have to restart your computer for the next. Uh, restart isn't required for this, although it'll be better because it'll start using it, if you know what I mean. Um, but go ahead, uh, for this I'm not going to do it right now, but just click on settings under performance, advanced, and then change. And over here you'll see that you can change your paging file. Um, under E, you can put as much as you want, just don't make it completely full because that'll just ruin your RAM disk. Um, but just change it to a reasonable size that you can actually use. This could be used if you run out of RAM, which is <laughs> kind of ironic because you're using your RAM to put a RAM disk and then you're putting paging files into your RAM. Well, it's not gonna do a huge increase, although um, it is gonna make it faster since you uh, you're using your RAM that you're using it, you know, then if you run out of RAM, it will just put it into your hard drive. What about you put it back to your RAM and make it even faster so that you don't see any slowdowns? That's the reasoning behind that. Uh, select no paging file or custom size, uh, whatever you want for your, for your hard drive. Uh, and then for your RAM, you can put as much as you want. For, for example, uh, I can put 200 and that will make my have 500 megabytes free. Um, so, yeah, you know what I mean. I'm not going to do it right now because I need to keep having my PC open for now again. Uh, you can put that and it will be really fast. Um, I go to temp or TMP. Um, it will start loading things. Once you start, um, you know, once you start up or do more installations and all that stuff, it will help you a lot. And the last thing that you can do is have Chrome catch. How can you do that, you'll, you'll say? Basically, right-click Google Chrome and select Properties. Then, you can see over here, I'm going to have that into the description, minus minus or dash dash disk catch there, and then put your number here your um, uh, RAM letter, which is, you can see, minus E, uh, and slash, and then Chrome, or whatever you want to have the cache name on, or cache, I don't know. Uh, and yeah, that's basically it. Um, enjoy your faster computer with your RAM disk. Now, just a warning, if you have less than two gigabytes of RAM, then they're like less than four gigabytes. These you making a RAM disk will just make your computer insanely slow. 
because, alright, so if you have 2 gigabytes of RAM, your PC is already using about 70% of it, so you have about 500 megabytes free or like less. Uh, but it all depends on how you want to use your uh, RAM disk. Uh, but yeah, that's all about it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.